Hello beautiful people, welcome to March 2020 with me Julie Poole. This is your angelic guidance for the month of March for each of the 12 signs and it's good for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus and for cross watching which is when you watch it for somebody else that's near and dear to you. If this reading resonates please do leave a comment below. I receive this reading which helps you to align with the energies of it. If you haven't already, please do click that subscribe button and that little bell notification so you don't miss a thing and join the online family. You'll also find an extended reading version for March. The link is below if you'd like to purchase it. It'll take you to my website. You'll also find there your angelic guidance for the whole year 2020 for each of the 12 signs if you're interested in that. All right, my darlings, let's crack on. Let's have a look what March has got in store for us. <music> Hello beautiful Aries and welcome. Let's see what we've got for you for this month. Yeah, all right, get out of the way. I'm working now. Good boy. Alrighty, let's see what we've got. What's the main message for Aries, please? We've got the Five of Swords. Some of you are in a bit of a battle here. Um, a bit of conflict going on internally. Your head spinning a little bit with some questions. Let's have a little find out some more death good so we've got an end to that we'll look at them in more detail in a moment let's see what else we've got and the world we've definitely got a big shift forward here going on Aries now March we're approaching your birthday season and happy birthday for those of you with birthdays at the end of March so your first card out the five of swords what is all this about it is about conflict a mental set of questions, thoughts, beliefs that don't serve you, conflict with others, been through challenges and battles. Now, I'm just asking my angels for a bit more. All right. So what they're saying is we know that 2019 was quite a full on growth year uh, with lots of challenges and difficulties, my loves. And so as you are approaching, this is for March, as you're approaching your birthday, which is some of you are going to be April, some of you end of March. You've heard me say this before. Your birthday is your New Year's Day. Now, this is the reset, the reset button. It's also the beginning of the astrological New Year. So there's very much the New Year in every way here for you. So all of that battle that you've been through, not just recently, but over the last 12 months since your last birthday, is now come to an end. The death card is ending, something finishing, completing, it's done, it's finished. The battle is behind you. Yay! Which is most excellent. And the world card then coming in behind it confirms that that work is done. Now, when I say work, when we're battling through something, that inner conflict, conflict with others, standing up for ourselves, perhaps butting heads with our nearest and dearest, um, because we have changed. We have put a new set of boundaries in place. We're um, more self-loving. We are, I was going to say less tolerant. Yeah, she wants me to say that. My angel's saying, yeah, less tolerant for the crap around you. She said, that's not my word, that's yours. Less tolerant for the challenges around you. And saying, no, that's not okay. I'm not putting up with that anymore. And that is what's created some of the conflict. This can be within your job. You say, no, I'm not putting up with that. I'm not doing the extra shift. I'm not doing more than my fair share. It's not fair. I'm not having it. So you have been pushing back pushing back and pushing yourself forward into a space that you want to be and you're there now you're there so this conflict is ended with the death card and the world card can come in now there's much more balance here much more balance the world is if you look at this card 
you've got earth, air, fire and water. A beautiful balance of all the elements. And in the middle of the world is the fool. Now the world is the last card in the major arcana. It's the completion of all the lessons, all the growth. The fool has been through it all and out the other side. And he's now ready to start a brand new world. Taking with him everything he knows and shifting forward into mm, all new, new, new. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, let's find out what this new is about. Tell me a little bit more, please, for my Aries. Tell me a little bit more. Oop, there we go. We want that and that and then. All right. So we've got the six of coins. More money, more balance, more give and take. Extra. We've got the Queen of Swords, more truth, more clarity, more focus, and we've got the Moon. So what was hidden coming up to be cleared and released to be aware of. I'm also drawn with this Moon card. You've got the Wolf and the Dog. For those of you who don't know animal medicine, which is shamanic stuff, the Wolf represents the teacher um, the, and the dog represents loyalty, protection. So these two are saying everything within you that comes up through the full moon, through the clearing ready to start this new beginning. It's all about what we're saying with the world card there. The fool has learned everything now that he has needed to learn from the lessons he's been through over the last cycle of the last 12 months. So we're taking the learning, we're taking that teaching, what I've learned that, tick, 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 I've learned it and I am now so loyal and protective to me and loving me and caring about me and caring about my truth and my expression of my truth because the air energy is about communication and clarity and focus and what that's doing is it's bringing in so much more balance and equality and fairness there's more than enough now whereas I was giving when I didn't have it to give and it was all about what was going out wasn't necessarily coming back. Now it is. There's an, a, a lovely flow of give and take. What I give out is coming back. And this is feeling such a powerful month for you to launch your New Year's Day, your new year for you, Aries, into this new beginning of more balance, more truth, more clarity, more protection, more insight and intuition, following your gut instinct, listening to that inner voice. That is what is going on for you in March. How lovely. Let's have a look what the wisdom of the oracle want to add. And we're going to look at these cards in more detail in the extended if you'd like to join me there. The link is below. It's the first link. All right. I want this one. Time to go. So you see, I love it when I go to different decks and they repeat the message in a different way. Time to go. To leave behind you that conflict, to leave behind you the inequality, to leave behind you any sense of I can't and we're moving into I can and I will because this is my new year and I am ready. How wonderful. Now, I want to get an energy card for you. And then we'll have an angel card as well. What else have you got for my Aries, please? We want this one. Caring Connections. This is a beautiful card on so many levels. This Caring Connection is all about love, romance, relationships. The first relationship is with yourself to love you, to care for you, to protect you, to connect with you, and then with others. So this is a deepening of existing connections that you've got with yourself and others on every level. And let's remember this is a four year, all right? 
2020 is a full year, um, but it's also got two lots of twos and twos are the connections. So everything this year is about deepening connections in order to strengthen your foundation, four is foundations, the stability underneath us. So you're moving into this space where you are strengthening all of your relationships. If they are meant to fall away, they will fall away. We've got the death and we've got time to go. Um, we've got the world for a new beginning. So if some of those relationships are not serving you, you will know about it and they will fall away. But what it will be is that new connections come in um, that are reflecting who you are now and your existing connections that stay get stronger because they're beautiful, because they are worthy and deserving of you and you of them. This is just lovely just lovely I want a little bit more for you I need another one here tell me a bit more for Aries please for March <laughs> and the sun the sun is coming out and um, this is positive bright uplifting empowering creative we are in spring season here in the northern hemisphere and when we start to feel the warmth of the sun everything lights up and brightens up everything that is shifting for you in march is all about life getting brighter lighter and warmer how beautiful let's have an angel card to finish off then my lovely aries let's finish off with an angel card opportunity opportunity in whatever way you want it to be there's a lot of light around here a very protective light the angels are with you creating opportunities for you to increase the sun the brightness the confidence the self-belief the positivity to increase your caring connections developing even deeper even richer even higher that which you previously perhaps felt that you couldn't reach you can now there are opportunities all around you and each of these opportunities will enable you to open up to greater love within yourself and within life so grab those opportunities my Aries this is your time as you come in now to your new year happy new year happy birthday all right Aries I will see some of you for the extendeds and if not I will see you for the weeklies you take care thank you so much for joining me lots of love bye bye